Hi guys, I'm back again. Thanks for tuning in. In this video, I want to talk about the entrepreneur mindset versus the engineer. It's a really interesting topic and you see it a lot. If you spend a lot of time on the electric skateboard dot builders forum, you'll see a lot of the engineering mindsets, the technical mindsets, the people who love problem solving. Um, and in a way, it's not that different to the entrepreneur's mindset. Obviously, the, the core set of skills is very different. And that's what I want to dive into and drill into in this video quickly. I mean, the, the reason the, the idea is in my he <clears throat> head, to be honest, is there's a few haters out there at the moment on the social media platform saying that I don't deserve to have this business because I'm not an engineer. And how could I possibly make this project come to life if I'm not an engineer. Well, let's drill in, let's think about this argument because it's something that's really personal to me and I think anyone watching this is probably sh maybe struggling with this as well. You know, if you've got a good idea <clears throat> and you think you can make your dreams become a reality, but then you never do it because you think, well, I'm not qualified. Well, you're gonna not achieve much in life, you know. Never let the fear of failure get in the way of anything. And that's a key message for entrepreneurs. Engineers, on the other hand, may be a little bit more risk adverse, meaning if they don't mathematically believe they can do something, or if they can't put a formula down, or if the textbook said it's not possible, maybe they will believe that it's not possible. The entrepreneur might take the risk anyway and just do it because they believe in themselves or they just, I don't know, maybe they're crazy. <laughs> maybe entrepreneurs need a little bit of craziness. And to bring this back to inertion, how the hell have I created an electric skateboard? I'm not an electrical engineer, I'm not a mechanical engineer, I'm not a manufacturing expert, I didn't study those topics at university for four years. How the hell is it possible? Well, one really powerful statement that I want to drill into your heads and make you understand is anything is possible if you believe in yourself. You just have to have a vision and you have to break it down into small little steps and think it through. Sometimes you'll get to a point where you think, hmm, maybe that's not possible. And then you have to do like risk analysis or something like that and make a decision about whether you keep pushing forward. But you know what? What is the worst thing that can happen? You either succeed and fulfill your dreams and make a difference in this world, or you sit on your couch and be disappointed with yourself that you didn't achieve something that you thought would be fun or exciting or make the world better. So um, if I was an engineer, inertia wouldn't exist because it would be perhaps mathematically too risky or perhaps I'd have a job doing engineering stuff for someone else and never pursuing my dreams. and. That's the difference. The reason inertia exists is I may have a greater risk for appetite, but I, I'm a dreamer, I'm a visionary. I wanna achieve things that there's no clear path to achieve. That's what makes me happy to get up each morning because I'm pushing forward to achieve something that's not in a textbook. So I, I mean, maybe I've gone on a bit of a rant there, but these are the two sort of sides of the story and how I see it. And for all those haters out there that are sitting there like that, telling people that they're gonna fail and they're no good, guess what guys? You guys are the failures. Anyone who has a dream, all they have to do is wake up in the morning, write a few things on the piece of paper that they're gonna achieve, that gets them closer to that dream, and just do it. Don't let people say you can't, because then you'll do nothing. See you.